there's a Ferrari there. It's a me, Ferrari. And we just have overtaken another Ferrari. Now this was at turn one. And there's another it's Ferrari in the, in the front of it. Uh, we are now out strategizing the Ferrari. How is it possible that uh, this man has overtaken me? We are checking. <laughs> Well, good morning everybody, welcome along to the Rockstar Pool 69 channel and welcome along to today's playthrough, it is F1 Manager 23 episode number 90 for the Japanese Grand Prix in season 4 with Alfa Romeo. If you do like the content you're about to see, do consider that like button, also consider that subscribe button as well. Goes a long way to helping the channel and promotes it out more to YouTube the more that uh, we progress and the more that we grow. Not that YouTube do a lot for us because, uh, well... I could tell tales about YouTube that will make you all shudder. And shudder, they uh, they absolutely would. Let's look at the championship anyway. Red Bull lead by... Uh, I can't do that maths. Followed by uh, Alfa Romeo, Mercedes, Williams, Ferrari, Aston Martin, Haas, Alpine, McLaren and Alfa Tori. I think it's 180, 191 points. Max Verstappen though does lead by seven, 95 points over Lando Norris. And then comes Charles Leclerc, Esteban Ocon, Guan Yu Zhou, Yuki Tsunoda, George Russell, Lance Stroll, Alex Albon and Sergio Perez, your top 10. All the way down to the two that have not yet scored, which is Nick DeVries and Kevin Magson. In the F2 Championship, Dennis Hauger is absolutely bossing it. And Hunter Yeedy is leading the F3 Championship after Maria Boyer led for so long. We did try to sign Dennis Hauger as our test driver. At 23 years old, he's turned around and said, no, I'm retiring at the end of the season. Yeah, go and uh, go and dissect that one. Because I guarantee you, none of you are dissecting that one. You're all like, what the hell is going on with him? Anyway, go take practice with the boys, and I'll see you on the other side of this one. For the first session of qualifying, we, we might need to get them out straight away because there is rain in the air, there is rain on the horizon, there is rain on the forecast. We are not going to take any chances with the weather because we're not going to take any chances with weather. Because I feel like we could potentially win this race. With our fresh engine... I feel like we could potentially win this race. There is a chance later on it might dry up, but I might just see what they put down as a heater. Anyway, practice. 11th and 18th in the first session. Second session, 11th and 19th. And then Lando uh, whipped it out and got into the top 10. But look at all those penalties, including the Red Bulls. Uh, Guan Yu was down in P18, but uh, we are adamant now. We are on the scout for a new driver. Guan Yu Zhou will leave at the end of the season, no matter what. And I mean that, folks, no matter what. He could win the whole, the rest of the race, the season, and he's still gone. And you know my reputation on the F1 Manager games. I am ruthless. I am very, very, very ruthless. Uh, now, let's have a look. I think that should be... Yeah, the, the weather's here now. The weather is here right now. And I think... Did my phone just uh, go off then? I think my phone just went off then. Let's have a look. Yes, it did. It's a private message. Oh, it's just... It's my good friend, Mr. Zotter. Mr. Sprinter. Do go subscribe. That's even me to say. Do go subscribe to Tico Sprinter for ventures, videos, filming, all-around chaos, bus rants, and anything else that uh, he does to create havoc and chaos. Because he is Tico Sprinter, the architect and lord of chaos. I'll leave his uh, link in the corner for you all. Tell him the rock star sent you. Looks no more rain coming so, now, but uh, we'll keep you posted. Uh, right, I am going to gamble. Lando's going to stay in. I know the track's going to dry up, but I don't know if it's going to dry up this much that uh, we're going to see an improvement in times. So, uh, I feel like I'm sending Guan Yu out because I feel like Guan Yu uh, is going to uh, need an improvement. 
see how it goes. He's gone green. He's got yellow in the middle. And uh, how's he going to go in the final sector? Through the Casio Triangle. And it's going to be no improvement. I don't think it's going to be an improvement in this, uh, this lap either because I think he was stuck behind Sergio Perez. But I think he's through anyway. Yeah, that's fine. That's why he's through. He's through. And that is uh, the most important thing. Look at all those penalties that uh, everyone has got to take. We lose Bottas, Ricardo, Sergeant, Gasly and Nick DeVries. So, without further said, let's get on to Q2. Rain income. Ooh. Rain is here. I say we go out now and set a banker. And then perhaps go out later if we need to. Yeah, that's what we're, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go out now, set bankers. DRS is enabled, and it's damp. Are you effing with me uh, there, FIA? Surely you have to be effing with me. There, there is no physical way. You just said DRS was available. And it's, it's wet. Norris, though, is flying. Norris is going fast. He went fast the ball in the middle sector. He's right on the back of Guan Yu Zhou, who's going to... Oh, he's not on the back of Guan Yu Zhou, sorry. He's on the back of uh, one of the McLarens. I think it was uh, poor Ch uh, Piastri that he was on the back of. Uh, Guan Yu Zhou is going to go P4. So that that's fair enough. Just do that. There we go. So that, that's pretty uh, fair. Let's call Lando in. Let's see if Guan Yu improves. Uh, no, he's not improving, so uh, I think we should call him in too. Call him in. Yeah, Lando Pelé. Let's not uh, stress anything too much. Now, I do think Lando is through with that time. I think Lando is through. Wev wow, he's at peak driver confidence. Lando Norris, ladies and gentlemen, he is bossing in this team at the moment. I do have an eye on a potential new teammate to replace Joe. He's 90 rated, so he'd be a massive upgrade. And I think, you know, we had have had dealings with it before in other career modes. And I do think that it's possible that uh, he might uh, help us out a bit more. But we'll see. Anyway, Joe is tucked right up behind somebody. I have oh, no idea who was tucked up behind, but I think he's out. I think he's out unless he uh, improves through Spoon Corner. At worst, he's going to start P13 unless Piastri uh, improves. Where is Piastri? He's just going through the Casio Triangle now. No, he's not improving. He's not improving, and that uh, that is a blow. So uh, Guan Yu is out in the first session. We were right to keep Norris in. So that was uh, a good shout. Good shout on my part, ladies and gentlemen. Pat myself on the back for that, but still, look at all those penalties. Look at all those penalties. We lose uh, Stroll, Joe, Albon, Magnus, and Piastri. So let's get on to Q3. Get Lando out straight away because there's rain on the way, and it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. So we need to get him out and get him out very quickly, and then hope that uh, his lap's good enough. Green light. So he's going to go out. I think behind that Mercedes, that Sergio Perez. Yes, he's going to go out behind Perez. Brilliant. See how this uh, goes for him. Like I said, we're going to have to get this lap in and get it in very quickly. 
coming through. He's gone purple. And look at the con the. Tr oh my God! This is gonna deluge. This is gonna come down. It's gonna come down hard. Look at how dark it has gone here at Suzuka. It is incredibly dark. Perez goes fastest. Norris. Woohoo! At 27-7. Whip that one out and slap it on the table as we go through Q1. Yeah, it's going to really come down hard now. It's really going to... Sonoda on pole! Where'd that come from for the little Japanese dirt guy? It is. Yeah, it's, it's going to come. It's going to deluge. Look at it now. It's coming down deluge style. Base, if you've not set a lap, you're, uh, you're in a whole heap of you-know-what. Max Verstappen hasn't even set a time yet, and it's uh, gone damp. But somehow is faster than Giovinazzi. Somehow is faster than Giovinazzi. <laughs> Don't ask how, he just is. Yeah, we'll call him in. We'll call him in. So that's going to be P2. Um, no, wait a minute. Sonoda has a penalty, doesn't he? I'm sure Sonoda has a penalty of some description, doesn't he? Somebody's going to um, confirm this for me, but uh, I'm pretty sure Sonoda has a penalty. And if he does, Lando's on pole. And if Lando's on pole, everyone beware, because that will be the end of you. Not only will it be the end, it's going gonna, it's gonna to basically... You might as well hand us the victory now. McLaren and Verstappen down in P7 and P9. I'm pretty sure I know one of them has a penalty as well. So yeah, take it nice and uh, nice and easy out there, Lando. We don't want any heroics. Oh yeah, pit lane is definitely slippery. I agree there, uh, Spina. It is definitely uh, there. You go. Nice warm, uh, nice dry pit garage for you. So, let's get this confirmed. They're going out on the Inters. They're, they, they're nuts. It's going to be wet in a second. You watch this, and the, the times are going to be nowhere. No, it's still, uh, it's still good enough for Inters. It's still good enough for Inters, but it won't be uh, good enough for Inters for very much longer. That's the end of the session. Lando is P2. What a lap from uh, Lando Norris. If you were at the front of that queue, you uh, you took advantage of the situation, and you took advantage of the situation uh, massively. So I want to see where all of these uh, penalties are, are going to end up. I know one of the Red Bull, I think it was Leclerc that uh, has a penalty, doesn't he? Let's have a look here. Oh, he has a penalty. Lando's on pole. It's going to be Lando Norris from Carlos Sainz. Teo Porcher and George Russell. Well, if that doesn't get you salivated, one new P9. This is looking pretty darn good. And it's a two-stop as well. But you know what we're going to do? Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to get that medium tyre out of the way early. Yeah. <laughs> you, you didn't see that coming, did you? Everyone's like, oh, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. We're going to push this medium tyre. Thank you very much. 19 laps. Get him in on lap 38 then. Or 36 even. Maybe 37. Jobs are good and thank you very much. That'll be Lando with a victory already. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. It's never that easy, folks. Just found out it's the first round of the Masters today. That as I'm recording this, I might uh, watch that. I'm not gonna be able to watch the. Um... Session, but uh, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Right, Guan Yu, can you stretch some uh, tires as well? I think you can. 70, we'll go 18, we'll go 36. And there you go. See, Guan Yu can uh, do things as well. He can do things out there uh, very nicely. Let's take the fuel out of the car as well. That's going to be uh, helpful uh, going along the way. So good luck out there, guys. Let's uh, get a decent result from uh, from this race. And if uh, Carlos, if Lando gets in that first corner first, everyone else better run because you're going to lose this race. 
We're all good to go here in Japan with 53 laps around the Suzuka circuit. Now I wonder, will things be going Lando Norris's way in this race? They start in P1, but will they be able to stay there? The first corner could be so crucial. But there's no more time left. We've got a race on our hands. Get ready, it's the Japanese Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. Right, this is, that is going to be the mission for today. We have got to get ahead of science, which we are doing now, and we're going to run. We're going to disappear off into the distance, and we're going to get out of here. Because if we don't get out of here, I've got a feeling that uh, those Ferraris, are, there's already a yellow flag happening out there. We're going to get an early safety car. I, uh, I would hope not, because that might put strategy uh, out of the window here. Crash involving uh, multiple cars. Right, it's going to be Giovinazzi and Ricardo. Oh, there was a hip check. That was a hip check. Have to pick themselves up after that. That should be a penalty for uh, Ocon. <laughs> everyone, everyone who watches F1 will get that joke. Somebody out there will get that joke. I think Lando just needs to warm his uh, tyres up a bit so that... Uh, he... Oh, there was a bit of dust kicked up then. That was a, a bit wide and a bit handsome. See what happens to go through uh, the hairpin here. And then up to Spoon Corner. We need to be... Yeah, we need to be disappearing off into the distance now. Investigation involving Giovinazzi and Ricardo. No penalties given. That is absolute blatant. You're calling that a racing incident. Bull. I call bull. And I call bull straight away, because you've seen penalties on this game given for worse. Sides is really up the back end of Norris here. We're dropping George Russell, that's uh, that's good, but we need to drop this uh, Spanish guy as well. Although the Carlando partnership is a partnership not to be messed with. Maybe we should get Sainz in this car. Ooh, <laughs> now there's a thought. Carlos Sainz in this car if he's uh, cheap enough. I don't know if he's uh, cheap enough or wants to come though. Ocon overtake now, Joe. We can see what happens. Yep. Down at the hairpin. Ocon can overtake Joe all he likes. Ocon Joe has already been told that uh, see you shouldn't be allowing him to do that. You should have protected your line. You should have uh, carried on. But no, you've allowed him to pull your uh, put, to pull your pants down around your ankles there, sir. Norris Let's overtakes Sainz. So yeah, Sainz overtook Norris, now and then uh, Norris has now two. come back at him and uh, give him what for into the first corner. Win, win. They're on the softs. We're on the medians. We are going to out-strategize Ferrari. We are going to do it by any means necessary. Joe overtakes Leclerc. Here we are, then. I suppose the that's something. Corner. Ah, there you go. That's how, show him how it uh, feels there. going into the first corner. There you go. Show him how it feels. The video's going to finish in a second. Listen yeah, to this. Wow, you let me down there, AVS video editor. AVS video editor left me, uh, left me hanging 15. on that one. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Oh, Kevin Magnussen. Oh! And hopefully there's not too oh, much that could have been tires. nasty. That uh, could have been nasty going into... Uh, the oh, Casio Triangle, we got a pit stop issue Lance for Stroll. Hollywood Lance Stroll. And it's uh, a sticky rock. Don't the pat the tire! It's like, it's like, get tell him, there, 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 go on there. Don't pat the tire, be patronising to it for crying out loud. Right, it is time for Joe to come in. And to be fair, Joe has... Uh, Joe has done really well. And I mean he has done uh, really, really well. Let's see. Um, oh, oh. Here we go again. Same different Grand Prix. Same old crap that we put up with from this godforsaken... That is a terrible stop. That, that is terrible. You're all fired. You're fired. We're done. We are done. I am done with you. You're all fired. You can get out of here. You can... Find your P45s in your payslip. You are done. Stupid pit crew. Now watch them do the same for Lando here. Back off, back off, and if they off. do, then they're not going to get fired. They're going to be 
taken outside and flogged. Copy. Public floggings all around if uh, they mess up this pick stop. I'm not even going to look. I'm not even looking. What a joke. That right there could have cost us the race. That right there, we're trying to beat Ferrari. We're now down in P8. We're, wow, we're way behind Carlos Sainz. He's already through the first two corners. But we've got the softer tyres to uh, play with. So let's see what uh, let's see what Lando can do with them. He might still win this race. Bottas overtakes Joe. Yeah, I now need look, to put that there, don't two. I? Yes, I do. It's there for yes, the I do. There we go. Perfect. Lovely. Puts them in 13th place. Joe get his pants down by his former teammate. Norris Here's overtakes the poor chair. Now the focus is on Norris is on Norris. the move, folks. With these uh, the soft tyres. Great move down the, uh, the front straight here. Absolutely fantastic Orlando move down the front straight. I need to. I've just seen. I need to clean the PS5. It's got a load of dust in it. Zoe right now overtakes Piastri. Now this oh, this could be into turn three. one, and maybe turn two, maybe turn something else. That, 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 oh, through the S's as well. Good move there, sir. Norris now it takes Verstappen. How's this feel? Oh, mind you, now, Verstappen uh, was in, on his way to the pit lane. Into 130 R. Swoop him. Swoop that man round the outside. There's a Ferrari there. There's a Ferrari there. It's a me, Ferrari. And we just don't overtake another Ferrari. Now, this was at turn one. And there's another it's Ferrari in the, in the front of it. Uh, we are now out strategizing the Ferrari. How is it possible that uh, this man has overtaken me? We are checking. <laughs> Max has an issue with the pit stop. Through this one. The McLaren comes into pit. Oh, look. Welcome to the sticky left front crew. Kevin Magnussen. Don't bang it. Try and get that bl bloody hell. That, that, this, that felt like it took an eternity as well. I, I actually sympathise with uh, Kevin Magnussen there and his stupid pit crew. Okay, oh, we got a virtual safety car. Where's Joe? He's just coming through 130R. This might be uh, brilliant to get him on the, uh, the medium now. Yes, let's get him on the medium now. Take advantage of this pit stop. You lose less time uh, under a virtual safety car than you do uh, under a regular sure safety happened, car. It's Logan it Sargent like it uh, Logan again. Sergeant. Oh, he's got a problem with his uh, with his wing. He's off. Uh, he's off to the seat. And the accident. Oh, it's a good job we're not seeing the rest of that. Yep, we know exactly where you are, sir. We know exactly where you are, and it uh, damn sure isn't pretty either. I say we we do this pit stop, but someone tells me they'll uh, mess this pit stop up. It's it's one of those I just have the awful feeling about. Right, I want to get rid of you. I want to get rid of you. You. How are we looking? Oh my god, it's gonna be a pit stop. They don't mess up. Everyone, take notes and note that one down. We might have lost a. Uh, no, we did. We didn't, did we? We did. We lost a. Uh, no, that's Bottas in front of us. No, I think we came out behind Bottas, didn't we? Right. Virtual Lost. safety car still goes. We're going to get Norris in here. Yeah, Norris stop, loses man. less time unless they Bottas mess this thing. pit stop up. Everyone watch and mess this pit stop up, we folks. Daniel Ricciardo swinging in. I am calling it right now. As Daniel Ricciardo uh, has an issue with the pit stop. Oh, the I thought we were looking coffee. at our pit stop then. We're not. We're looking at Ricciardo. <laughs> Now we're looking at our pit stop. They are, they're gonna mess this up. I can see this coming. I can see this coming. And my God, they didn't mess it up. So now, if we come out behind Sonoda, which I think is where we're gonna end up there on the hards. Oh, they're done. They're done, we're on softs, they're on hards. I think they're on a one stop as well. This is our race to lose, I think, from here, folks. Okay, 15 to go. Norris has overtaken Yuki Sonoda down into Spoon Corner. 
This is Slando on softs against Yuki on hards. And uh, that's going to end in a no contest, unfortunately, for the Japanese driver. Sonoda now is locked up. It was the Williams driver. Where's he going to lock it up to? Into the Casio triangle, okay chasing down stage. that to uh, Red Bull. See ya. By that point, it was just too late. That's going to bring out a few choice uh, Japanese words from the little guy. Norris now, now takes the lead of the Grand Prix. Look. Now, this was the seventh corner. The gap he, uh, opens up for them. He takes the lead of the Grand Prix. Thank you very much. And Lando says, well, thank Through you very the much. S's. That should be job done. Game over for everyone. Sonoda, Sonoda is having a struggle this here on these hard tires. He's now uh, run wide. Oh, out of spoon has let the Mercedes the go line. through. Perhaps a little lapse that, in oh, that was not good for Yuki there. Feel sorry for the guy. Show overtakes poor Chad. To happened. be fair, though, that virtual safety no car really did screw there. over... Uh, Can they uh, what's his name? Kuan Yu. But um, I, I don't feel sorry for him. Fast. He's got the medium tyres. So he's got better tyres on than the rest. He should be pushing. He should be pushing. He should be going. And that is uh, Guan Yu Zhou passing uh, Valtteri Bottas. <laughs> yes. Can we see that again, please? Good I want to see that again. Come on, let's see that again. As they said in the old uh, F1 World Grand Prix advert. Let's see that again. <laughs> oh, let's see that again. <laughs> Who remembers that advert? I do. It's absolutely fantastic and hilarious advert. Okay, yellow flag. Somebody, I'm looking at the mini map. I don't see who it is. It's not uh, coming out. It's gonna be Gasly on Albon or Albon on Gasly. One car involved in that, as you can see. A bit of blow one of the two, uh, it the looked pack. a bit messy going into the Casio triangle. That's all uh, it actually needed to be. And you can just feel the frustration but, um, of the team watching on the monitors. Yeah. Lando has been in a field of one. <laughs> Since he uh, stuck these soft tyres on, he's been in a field of one. Can we go for a fastest lap? Push. I want to try go for a fastest lap here. I don't know whether we're going to be able to get this fastest lap or not, but I want, I want to go for it. I want to go for this fastest lap. Just for uh, just for bragging rights, just for uh, you know what's in giggles. Uh, investigation involving Albert and Gasly, no penalty given. Typical FIA. They obviously want uh, guys to sort it out there on the track. So final lap for Lando Norris. And you got to say that the work was all done Saturday. Because as soon as those penalties were handed out, Verstappen's going to finish P4. So we're going to gain on Verstappen. We're going to gain on Leclerc as well. I would have liked Joe to have been a little higher up uh, the field. But like I said, the virtual safety car really messed him over. Which is uh, rather unfortunate. So it's going to be, what, it's going to be 12 points for... Let's see where he's gone green in the first sector as uh, Lando. It's going to be 12 points for Verstappen. Uh, 10, 8, 6, so 4 points, so 16 points for Red Bull, and we're going to score 26. So that's bitten into the lead a little bit. Not a lot, but no, a no, little so bit. And it's all about those little gains. It's lo those little, little gains, folks. That's, uh, that's what it's all about at the end of the day, those really l good little gains that uh, did you love to see. Coming down to 130R for the final time. I think this is actually going to be his second victory of the season because I think he, he won Miami, didn't he? At, uh, at an absolute pace. And then he's come here to Japan and he's absolutely done the field again as well. Through the final corner, Lando Norris, stand up and take a bow, son. Victory number two on the season. Get it! not over yet the championship is not over Lando yet wins it. He's we're going to have to do well in uh, Qatar and then Kota as well to uh, to minimise the damage you're damn right Lando Norris wins the Grand Prix yeah damn right and it's thoroughly deserved a hugely talented despite driver despite the pit crew trying to rob us 
you love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Guan Yu is uh, up on the back of Stroll, but I don't think that's going to uh, matter unless Stroll has an absolute mare in the uh, final chicane. So it's going to be P10 for Guan Yu. P10 for Guan Yu could have done better. Could have done better, should have done better. Should we have stuck him on the other strategy, maybe? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest with you. I do think, though, without his pedal, the pit stop, he'd have been up there past uh, Sonoda. What a remarkable drive by Lando Norris today. An inspired strategy from the team there. What a well-deserved win that was. It's hugs all round for the team. In fact, they all deserve a pat on the back as well for everything that they've achieved. And that really was breathtaking from the Alfa Romeo driver. If you're going to place in the top three, that's the way to do it. That sees them double their win tally for this season. They'll be delighted with that. And a lovely show of sportsmanship to conclude proceedings here in Japan. So then, Karu, in terms of the Alfa Romeo team, how will they be feeling after that? They'll be absolutely delighted to have picked up the win here. What a great outcome that is for the team. And that's all for today as we wrap up the weekend here in Japan. For the next round, we'll be travelling to Qatar as the drivers battle it out at the Losail International Circuit. So yeah, victory number there. two for Lando on the season. 25 points in the bag. He didn't get the fastest lap. Wow, Sergio Perez. Sergio Perez big dicked it with that uh, fastest lap of the Grand Prix, didn't he? 28th, <laughs> 8. I don't think was even in the same time frame as uh, him. No, everyone else did the 29, the late 29s. Uh, George did in the early 29s. But yeah, that was... Uh, that was incredible, that lap, and uh, we've bitten into his lead a little bit, and we've bitten into their lead a little bit. It's still 170-odd points. It's doable, folks. It's doable. I've not given up yet. I've not given up. We, we, we may as well have given up. <laughs> Just like we have in the DHL fastest pit stop competition, because we're not going to get fast pit stops. Uh, P1, though. That's what we're talking about. Nearly $5 million in the bank account as well. That's what I call a good race and something to wrap up on. Well, I called it. I want to say I was right. And I was proved right as well. Um, it looks like um, everyone voted against the uh, lowering of the cost cap. So that, oh, Ferrari and McLaren voted for it. Red Bull voted against it. I wonder why. Someone uh, been hiding stuff in the uh, catering again, have they, uh, over there at Red Bull? <laughs> uh, front wing, front wing research. That's easy for me to say. That's uh, completed. Can we get? Uh, should we get another one done, or should we get uh, a chassis option done? I think we uh, we might be able to um, get something done here. Oh, we might be able to. Oh yeah, we got some um, ATR to use as well, haven't we? So let's get a new suspension upgrade going. Because I think uh, I think we need it, especially with uh, the tracks we've got uh, coming up. Might be ready in time for what? Brazil? Oh, if it's ready for Brazil, that'd be mega. That would be mega. Yeah! Absolutely mega. 1.3 million. Uh, how many can we chuck on this? So yes, it can be ready in 27 days if we use all the um, all the people. Uh, 27 days. Puts it in Mexico. So yeah, it looks like it's going to be ready for Brazil. Yeah, ready for Brazil. If not, maybe Vegas. So, yeah, we'll do that. Let's get that all hands on deck uh, for that one. We, we, can do, uh, we can do another one. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll think about that. Thanks for watching then, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already done so. Playlists will appear all around. Go check out some more Rockstar Pool 69 content at your viewing pleasure. In the meantime, though, stay safe. Be kind to each other. You can't be kind, but quite no place in the world. You can't be kind to other people. We will see you tomorrow for Train Sim World 4. It's the Goblin Line tomorrow. Oh, the joys.